Okay, we will move the left leg forward and the right leg backwards. And we will also okay, move the eyes to indicate that she is wobbling while moving. Okay, so for the eyes, okay, we will move the eyes okay, forward by one pixel. Okay, so from this, okay, the next frame will be this. Okay, by the way, if you have not heard, okay, a new update for all stars is coming this 3rd of February. Okay, with Asuka, okay, who is the third character okay Asuka is the orange character over here with two strands of hair coming out from her head okay but before that you can also try try out stars and play it directly from the white sponge website or rather you can download it to try the game from the white sponge website okay the link is in the description panel below okay i hope you have a great time playing the game and any feedback is definitely encouraged Okay, and now for the third frame. Okay, we will move the left leg back and the right leg forward. Okay, but we will also move the eyes. to indicate that she is wobbling while moving Okay, so the animation for when she is moving towards the right will start from 0 Okay, 1 Okay, and 2 And then it will go back to 1 And then lastly, it will go back to zero. Okay, so besides 
her legs becoming, or rather her legs going down while she's moving, and also moving back and forth for her left and right legs. Her eyes will also move left and right while she is moving. Okay, the little body pattern with the three dots over here will also move along with her eyes. Okay, left and right. Okay, just let me check OBS. Okay, OBS is running smoothly, which is good. Okay, so now that we have both the animations for idling and moving, Okay, let's move on to the animations for when she is stunned. Okay, we need to do this because okay, there are bosses and enemies okay, who have the ability to stun you. So while you are stunned, you will not be able to jump, move, or attack, or use your special skill. Okay, so to tell if your character is stunned or not okay so when your character is stunned okay the first thing that will change for the animation is that your character will have his or her eyes you or rather you can tell from his or her eyes that she is stunned or not it will be really obvious okay and on top of that Okay, there will be a small little bird flying around her head. So that is also an indicator of whether she is stunned or not. Hey, what's up Lucas? How's your day coming along? Okay, stun left eye. Okay, so if you look at the eyes, okay, you can immediately tell that okay, your character is concussed or stunned and is not able to move, jump, attack or use his or her special skill. Okay, we could also try okay, something that looks like this.
Okay, usually if you have eyes that are pointed towards the bottom Okay, it will indicate an emotion of feeling unhappy or sad But if you have them pointing upwards Okay, this will usually indicate happiness and something that is cheerful Okay, so besides having a cross as the eye, okay, we could try other shapes. Okay, to see if we could if we can find any other shapes that when you look at it, you can immediately tell that okay, this crater is concussed. Okay, so as I have mentioned before Okay, if the eyes are pointing towards the bottom Okay, it will indicate that the crater is in some sort of unhappiness, sadness or agony So this can also lead to the indication that He or she is concussed Okay, so we could increase the thickness of this And let's see if it looks better or not Okay, so if it is not concussed or stunned This is how it's How the eyes usually look like So from this To this
Hey, what's up, Kibakichi? How's your day coming along? Okay. Okay, so this will be the eyes for when she is done. Okay, by the way, today we are focusing on more pixel art. Okay, to create the animation frames for okay, the fourth character. Okay, I know we have just or rather even though we have just recently announced that a new update with the third character is coming out soon. Okay, but Having more characters will definitely add to the replay value of the game. Okay, so there are benefits to having more characters. Okay, so the first benefit is that okay, you have more variety when choosing a character to start the game with. Okay, it will also increase the replay value of stars as each character has or not besides the first character bit, each other character has his or her unlock requirement okay, before you can unlock him or her to start the game with. Okay, this means that you have to spend time to play the game more in order to get all of the characters. And since each character is fundamentally different from one another due to his due to their unique characteristic and special skills. Okay. Every time you start the game with a different character Okay, the way you play it is also different. And another benefit is that this will allow the okay, is part of the plan and this will allow Okay, a co -op cooperation mode to be more fun as you have more characters to choose from 
when you play with your friend. Okay. In stars. Okay, just let me check OBS to make sure that the stream is running smoothly. Okay. Okay, so for her stun animation, it will be slightly different from the other characters. Okay, different in a sense that okay, instead of having her stun in a, in an animation that is somewhat similar to her idling animation which is what other characters have okay, so when she is stunned she will instead not be moving Okay, at least she won't be moving her legs since when she is concussed, she has to use her remaining strength okay, to maintain her body's balance. Okay, so this is the first frame. Okay, for the second frame. Okay, for the second frame, we'll have her move downwards by one pixel. Hey, what's up, B MacBook? How's your day coming along? Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so we are going to erase one row of pixels to indicate that she is just moving her body or rather her upper body but not her legs Hey, what's up, the bad radical? How's your day coming along? Okay, so as mentioned, we will also move the eyes 